I think the issue which is now more uh, facing Hong Kong is whether uh, we can play a unique role in the overall mainland uh, Chinese uh, uh, context. Uh, people are aware that there's a lot of developments in China, there's an emergence of many Chinese cities like Beijing, Shanghai, uh, growing in importance. And so the question is whether Hong Kong still plays a unique role or has just become a, another part, just one of the Chinese cities. Over the past decade, uh, the economic uh, activities between Hong Kong and the mainland has increased substantially. Uh, so that there are now uh, uh, many mainland companies who operate from Hong Kong and many Hong Kong companies now doing business with many cities in China. Uh, you can see that, for example, in finance, in properties, a lot of the Hong Kong companies are actually uh, actively setting up banks, setting up properties in different parts of the uh, Chinese uh, cities. And Hong Kong is still the number one investor in most of the uh, Chinese cities. In Hong Kong, uh, we have the United States and China as our biggest two trading partners. And so if there's a trade war between them, we suffer. Uh, but you know, in Hong Kong, we also believe in free trade. Uh, we have been with the World Trade Organization before China becomes a member. And, uh, and we have been a very open uh, community uh, and also a free trader. In fact, increasingly, mainland companies are making use of Hong Kong to do to go international because we have a lot of experience in in, uh, in in dealing with the international business community so they are sourcing a lot of expertise from Hong Kong to help in this internationalization uh, process as well as they are raising money from Hong Kong because that's where we are good at and uh, actually they also want to do their contracts in Hong Kong because it's much safer to do the contracts in the legal system uh, that is uh, operated by rule of law.